All right, today we are in South Barrington and we are checking out the Hampton Social because we came out here to go to the Spirit that's out here, which is in the more upscale shopping area. But we're gonna go get some lobster rolls. We're not oyster fans. We're gonna do lobster rolls. Lee's gonna do the warm one, the Manhattan style, and I'm gonna do the main cold and creamy chill. Cause that's, I don't know. I want kind of both, but. And then the crab shrimp bruschetta. There's no prices, cause it's like market price. So let's hope that this doesn't cost a fortune. This place is cute. It's very cute. We, en we, we ended up here because we're here for the spirit and I had to go to the bathroom. And all the restaurants here are upper scale restaurants. Because we're in South Barrington. This is South Barrington. So, and we wanted to go to the Cantina Mexican restaurant, but they don't open until two. So we are in the Hamptons now. Look at the social club. Lots of rope. They got pallets hanging from the ceiling. Who would have thought hanging pallets from the ceiling would look cool? Hamptons. Hamptons. So, and it feels like we're on a patio. So, a lot of whitewashed brick looking stuff. So, it's very pretty. Right, Mike? Deliciousness. Crab and shrimp bruschetta. Looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. I've got my fresh little lemon zest in there. You can totally taste it. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Yum. All right, so I got my chilled main lobster roll. Nice toasted bread. And this is special. <laughs> I'm special. So this is the Manhattan. So this is warm. Oopsies. With some french fries. Very cool. Dunk. Dunk. It smells buttery. Yummy. Mm. Is it better warm? It's a cold, not cold, but it's a rainy day. Some warm lobster. Mm -hmm. We might get, oh wait, no, we're not getting lobster ice cream. We're not going to Martha's Vineyard. Mm -hmm. Never mind. But we can like get lobster and then put ice cream in it. <laughs> Try the warm one. That is a totally different experience. You like it better? Ooh, you get extra. Hmm. I don't know which one. Kind of like the cold one better. But, I mean, that's nice on a warm day. <laughs> or a cold, rainy day. What I meant to say? I like mine better. You like yours better? Mm -hmm. They put cheese in it too. Mmm, yummy. Can't go wrong with cheese. So like in the description, creamy, buttery. Mm -hmm. so, you like creamy, like a salad, mm -hmm. or like a buttery lobster. 
All right, so the lobster rolls are at like 29. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Usually the food trucks are like at 25. They give you a bag of chips. Yeah. So that's our damage here, 111. We don't drink alcohols, so that's pretty consistent price. It's really good. So there's the rest of the restaurant. Very cute. Very cute. Got the cute trees. All right, we are at our second spirit. We typed in an address and it said it was gonna be in a different building. It was like way over there. So I don't know if, if we just typed in one from last year or whatever, but this one looks a little, a little nicer than the, the one in Palatine. <laughs> so we'll go check this out real quick. It's Carnival. My shoes are squeaking. Yeah, they, they don't have a mat for me to wipe my feet off. I'm trying not to be squeaky. So 169 for shorty. So we're already off to a, a little better start because Palton only had the acid pie. They didn't have the popcorn gun or the cotton candy gun. How much is the cotton candy gun? Thirty dollars. Do you think I could probably get it on? This thing was almost like a hundred, wasn't it? Yeah, that it's probably on the other side listed. You can get a mask and the costumes. And you can get a stuffy too. Yes, a little stuffy. Get Shorty's bat and the Shorty costume. How are you gonna hold the bat with boxing gloves? So already, seems like there's a lot better selection in this one. At least it's. I don't know. This one didn't seem fully stocked either. There's a lot of empty pegboards over here too. So, all right. Yeah, th I don't think they had any of this in the Palatine one, did they? And we are going to Salem. Here we go. The Lydia Dietz. We were really tempted to swing by the Beetlejuice locations while we're going to go out to the East Coast, but Do I, I don't know if that's happening yet. Does this bring me joy? You like that shirt? Yes. It's cute. Very cool. I'm glad we came out to this one on this rainy day. Me this. Oh, you can be his kid. You can be Glenn. I don't want to be Glenn. Can I just be Glenn? Oh, that's a cool car. That's a cool mask. I like this one. Can be girl checky. I used to have a my buddy, but they said he's not based off of my buddy. He's based off a different doll. No. I used to think it was my buddy, but it's not. Get some Harry Potter skirts. Hey. Can be Ghostface. You can be Sam. Get some trick or treat. Some Myers. And Megan. Does Liddy want to be Megan? She does. Yeah, maybe we'll be have a little Megan running around. Some Voorhees stuff here. Breaking the law. More scream stuff. Got a little bedazzled scream ghost face mask. All right, so you got art over here. He's not doing nothing. Did I step on the thing properly? What's so fun? I don't know, he, he clicked. There he goes. And of 
cores. People used to do this all the time. Where is it? Kids used to dress up like scarecrows and sit on the front porch with the take one candy bowls. That's about the same thing, but you don't have to sit there. Alright. Here's the scarecrow. <laughs> More clowns. More clowns. Did you find your shirt? Yeah? Is that the bigger size? Yeah, that was a large. I don't Yeah. Yeah, this is a medium. It kind of looks like a small. Okay. Get some spirit merch. Yes. Got Sam. You got Jag. Ready? One, two, three. Hide the home decor in the back corner. Eventually, we have to get back there and check that out. See if that's got anything different. So, it's the wall of hats. The sandworm. That's still one of my favorite things here. We have more of the animatronics here. I didn't see this one at Pal Time. Cotton Candy Dan. Here's Bubba. Do I own this? I might have to buy this. I'm, I might have it, but I I don't know if I want to pass it up if I don't. It's the only one on the shelf. Little sleep sets. All right. The home ticket. These guys are so simple, but these are like the kind of decorations that I have at my house. Just a little hanging in the, blowing in the wind. Some camouflage netting. That's cool. Skulls. It's a big old bloody hand. Alright, so the spiky side stepper. I think one of Leah's friends really wanted this a couple years ago.
more horror. Get your little trick or treat in your hands. Creepy carnival. Girls section. Look, you can be ladybug. You get your miraculous. Little crossbody. All right, we are back in the front of the store. Simple stuff. The prisoner stuff. Basic Halloween nunneries. You could be the Pope. You could be a cowgirl. You could be a combat cutie. Cadet kid. Cotton candy clown. Back out here by Art. And the steampunk section is pretty small. A little more home decor over here. Beetlejuice. On a mansion. Flea's Throws, Nightmare Before Christmas, Hail to the Pumpkin King, and Masks, the Masks section, the Weapons, these were the easy Halloween things when I was a kid. We used to ride our bikes around trick-or-treating, but we'd have to take the masks off and show up at the house. What are you supposed to be? I'm like, and had to put our masks back on. The weapons. So at Midwest Haunters, they had all kinds of weapons with like brain matter on them and stuff. They're so cool. We have two of these, but they tear up so easy. Look at that. Some totes. Some plastic. There's your jumping spider, your wigs, and people who actually know how to put grease makeup on. And for the little guys, you're gonna be a bone shaker Hot Wheel. You could be. What do we say, Grogu? Grogu. That's not Baby Yoda. It's Grogu. Oh, your kid could be Oogie Boogie. Or Sam. Sam would be cuter. Just knowing the movies that you're dressing your kid up as. Just, I don't know. Don't go smashing pumpkins around this kid. I think this would probably fit. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> I don't know if this will fit uh -huh. Milo. No fit Milo? Yeah, kind of Alright, here's our wall of little tykes. And Bluey. Chuckles. More magnets. So many last minute grabs and all your coffee cups. Pumpkin carving kits. 
bracelets? Yeah, I know. I was looking at them. They're cute. Hair ties? Yeah, I was just going to say, but I think they're hair. In pin sets. I just stepped on one of these pins, not these pins, but one of Leah's pins that she fell off her bag. And it got stuck in the bottom of my foot. And that was not... So I don't encourage this, even though this is a Gremlins one. I might have these, don't I? Or I have this. You have this one. Yeah. Not this one. Oh. Wait. Oh. Those are glasses. These are salt and pepper shakers. They're hocus pocus. What is it? Should we bring this to Salem? So we don't get attacked by witches? <laughs> hey, look, I got more glassware. <gasps> more glassware? <laughs> Sweet. I wonder how that print stays on there. Uh, if it does. Probably not washable or yeah. dishwasher. Uh, Some more yeah, tumbles. Only. You can't put it in the microwave. All right, so used our coupon. Coupon. Save some money. Garney Bob. Garney Bob. <laughs> I am taking a video again. All right, so the South Barrington one. Better stock than Peloton. She said she, they're just getting in more shipments, so maybe there's going to be more stuff in there. So. We will look forward to that. She said once the boxes show up at the place, it doesn't take them too long to get open, so maybe Round Lake will open soon. Maybe by next week. So if that doesn't get you into the Halloween spirit, the water, or not the water tower, what am I, the corn silo with the pumpkin on top. Since we're in the area, we've never gone to Gilbert's when it's not Halloween time. And it's always chaotic, crazy here in October. So I'm going to wander around here because we're in the fall kind of mood. Fresh produce. So I have footage from last year of Stades. Maybe I'll start doing the farmer's market videos and I might actually publish that. There's some fatty bacon up there. Some crickets happening. Hot caramel apple nuts, cherry, rhubarb. All oh, the jams and jellies. I like some jams and jellies, but not enough to ever buy. It's like I'll buy the spicy ones, the pepper ones, but I'll never put it on anything. I'll eat the salsa. I think we got like a like a corn salsa last year. So they do have a bunch of farm attractions. Usually in the fall, this will all be full of gourds and pumpkins. A lot of fun pick opportunities. Egg Gilberts. The only downside about their barnyard attractions is they got a lot of stuff that costs extra. Like I think the jumping pillow is like an extra cost, but they have uh, some of those corn sandboxes. Uh, they had a bunch of animals, uh, I think even giraffes and stuff out here. So that's all pretty cool. Don't quote me on the giraffe thing. It's been a long time since I've been here. All your pumpkin carving kits, pumpkin master carving kits. All right, we found our way back here. I see the wife. These guys are really cool. Getting all ready for the spooky season. So this is gonna be like crazy amounts of people running around here. You're not even gonna be able to think straight even shop if you come here to get any decorations and stuff they're almost full on ready to go for the Halloween season for some October harvest time 
little candle lanterns. bunch of witches over here in the corner. Actually, that's pretty cool. Oh. Canvas prints over there. So like we were saying, we are heading up to Massachusetts here at the end of September to kick off the spooky season. So we are going to hit up Plymouth Sleepy Hollow, Salem, and we're probably going to go up to Arcadia, we'll do some pet cemetery locations, Hocus Pocus, and maybe some witches of Eastwick. Look at that, that is so colorful. It is very pretty. I wish we were good at gardening. I do not have the time for this. I have sticker bushes like crazy in my planters. Leah did confirm that there was drafts here. <laughs> yeah, they had a whole bunch of wild animals. Like a like a haunted house thing over here. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, that cost extra. That was not included in your price, which I thought was a bummer. And then they had a couple jumping pillows over here that also costed extra, which is why we go to All Seasons, Stades, or Richardson's. or Richardson's Farm. This also is really far though. This one is far. It, it seems a little heavier on the price ticket, but it is cool. Their corn maze is nothing. Richardson's has a huge corn maze. All season has a corn maze and I think what are we doing a tribute to? It's is it Snoopy? Here? No, freaking! I think all the, like the corn mazes around or something. What's it? I don't know. It's peanuts. So it is Snoopy. It's her 75th birthday celebration, and I guess a lot of farms are doing peanuts corn mazes this year. So I am looking forward to seeing those, and we're probably definitely going to go to Richardson's and check that one out. So I don't know if that building is new from the last time I was here, but we got our apple cider donuts and stuff inside here last, uh, um, last year, fucking years and years ago. Uh, anyway, there you go. Can you help Ag Egbert get to the nest? No? Looks like they got a little family history little shack here about the farm. Got a little mining thing here. Some gem mining. And all your fun picks. Got the little jail. What else are you going to do on a rainy, rainy, rainy day? So we got a lot of these metal guys over here. These glow in the dark? They glow in the dark. They glow in the dark. That's so cool. But it's got to be really dark. They already got Christmas stuff going up too. cash in on that. Look at zombie. That one's cool. He's holding a spider. Yeah. The 
spooky season. So we uh, just got some cookies, some pumpkin seeds. Let's see. Oh, I just dumped it on the ground. All right. Oh, that was the strangest of dreams. He's talking to me. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Go Birds Farm. I'm so happy you could join me on this fine day. Let's see. The coffee's brewing. It's time to do a little warm up before I take to the theaters. The room for a treat is my favorite warm up. Just happens to be singing a tune and busting one. Get up, get up. <laughs> All right. So, are you guys ready for spooky season? I got a tractor singing to me. We're gonna hit the road. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just a little sneak peek of spirit. Um, we recorded a couple things in here, but I don't think I'm gonna put them all in the same video. I'll keep it Halloween. Maybe I'll tack everything on after this because we stopped at Cabela's and we stopped at the Hampton Social and we got some food. Whether or not those are their own videos or if they're all in this video, I don't know. But thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I dumped my pumpkin seeds on the ground. So see you guys later. All right, we are at Cabela's getting Milo some free entertainment here <laughs> of fishes in the cave. Bless you. Cabela's used to be a lot more impressive when it first opened, but now it's almost like a Bass Pro. Whoa, water. Oh, water. Squirrel. someone that drives that rides this up and down our three grand thing oh he's rich holy cow <laughs> all right we're upstairs by the camping stuff this is more of why we would come here jacob would be excited about the the shooting gallery here the carpet bagger oh, and a press spinning machine oh he'd be in heaven here we go hey, Mike. love you jacob love you for one. There's a cat in the bag. Let's see if I can hit the barrel. Nope, it was a little higher than I wanted. Yeah. Let's, let's start the fire. Didn't do nothing. Is there really that many shots left? <laughs> there we go. All right. What do we got? We got five more shots. One handed. Miss. What the heck? I 
I'm doing terrible here at the end. Wow. We did it. But now we got two more tokens. So I had to play it again. All right. So it was a dollar. And the, since they gave us tokens, Leah gets a shot. You going to go pew pew? Let's start. All right, what are we shooting? I'm shooting for the fire. Oh, I hit the bunnies. That's horrible. Ricochet. Where are we shooting? Shovel. Oh, so now. Thanks for the bunnies. Nope. You hit the fox. Why am I getting the animals? Skunk? Oh, I spray you. <laughs> hit, the, hit the snake. What? The snake there. It do nothing. It's making noise with your ass. You made the tree move. Fishy. Are you spraying and praying? <laughs> Is that it? Uh, I might have done a little better. It's not a competition, but if it was, <gasps> shooting galleries. <laughs> what else do you do on a rainy day? Go to a shooting gallery. We go to a shooting gallery at Cabela's. But I don't know. This place used to be a lot cooler. Maybe there used to be a cafeteria back there, which is probably still behind the curtain. Ooh, backpacks. So, obviously, we like hiking and stuff, so we're going to look at some of the hiking, backpack, camping stuff here. So. Oh, they actually, you know what, this might be disgusting, but you know what, I didn't even know that they sold cleaning kits for your, for your water storage bags. I was always wondering because we just like run hot water and soap through them. This has got a little, little wire spring that you put through the hose. Little cleaning tabs. They're all very expensive. But... As long as it doesn't leak down our back. Trekking poles. I don't know. Never use trekking poles. So I'm either too busy filming or fumbling with everything else. I couldn't imagine having trekking poles also. Unless I'm walking through a river crossing, then they would come in handy because I've fallen plenty of times crossing streams. And Leah has too. What? Fallen. Walking across a, a river? Oh, well, yeah. You know, it's I have to fall into rivers. Yeah. It's like a baptism, if you will. Yes. She fell on her butt pretty good in Tennessee. My tailbone hurt, like, for a lot of days. Yes. Yeah. A lot of days? For a lot of days. Yes. Milo was fine. My butt was gone. Yeah. Sitting was not a good I fell at the shut-ins carrying CJ. Yeah. And... Leah fell carrying Milo. I fell carrying Milo. Yeah. I think we both dunked Milo. Oh yeah, we both time. dunked him that day. And then... And that was... The, also. What's that waterfall called? Uh, Tennessee. The Tennessee one. Over by the college. What is that, Tennessee Tech? Yes. yes. Twist and lock. Ooh. What? What? Never drink. What? Never. Never spill your drink again. Ooh. It's for your Stanleys. Is this the kind of tent you need to go tent? Ten people? I don't even know ten people that I'd go camping with. See. That would be better than an air mattress, that's for sure. Or not. 
<laughs> can we sleep on that? Yeah, we can sleep on this. These tents smell. It smells like Aunt Edna, this tent's yours. And some paddle boats. Big old fat tires. I don't understand how that is uh, fun. What's the point of fat tires? Make a rotisserie? A lot of polar bears. It's like a free museum. Got a rhino, a white rhinoceros, elephants, a boar. Well, since I got rained out of work, I'm trying to figure out what else to do today. I already went to Spirit. Now we're wandering around Cabela's because Leah's never been here. A little friend. Da -na 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 -na. Boop on the nose. This boop him on the nose. Boop him on the nose. Marty and Alex. Yep. He's giving them a hug. Afro Circus. Afro Circus. Afro Circus. Do I look cool? Do I look cool? Are we ready to go to Deadwood? Yeah. Looking at all these deers, it reminds me of Baraboo, Wisconsin, where these were all just hanging out in a field. I am not a good hiker yes. because I don't see the point of this. I need that. Is this freeze dry? Yeah, freeze dry. <laughs> I'd eat that Maybe all that. day. <laughs> I might eat that. The thing is, if this gets engraved. See, yeah, we we don't we don't camp, we don't camp out, and we don't bring a little a burner or anything. Should we do that? Just to be like, so we're cool. So we seem like we're legit when we're actually like going places. Hiking? We're day hikers. <laughs> we, not only are we day hikers, we're like day glam hikers. Because we go stay at one of my hotels. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, don't, we don't tent. We don't tent. We don't build fire. The most we'll probably ever do is probably Phantom Ranch if we ever go to the Grand Canyon and do that hike. Biscuits and gravy. I want that. But I think mostly I would just take and yeah. throw a sandwich in, in my bag and just carry it. Or just like trail mix. Stuff. Right? Some trail mix? Yeah. Some. Granola. Can't go wrong with granola. I don't know. I mean, is carry, carrying a burner and yeah. propane and Does bring it, it use, using your water and you got to put the wa hot water in there to. That's what, if, what makes it. What if you don't... What if you put cold water? It's not gonna... Careful... Carefully add... That much... Yes. Cold water to the pouch. So... Cold water? Yeah, that's what it says. Oh. Well, this is just for, for blueberries. Oh, it's granola. Jesus. You're making me... I'm like, what? You're gonna have a cold stroganoff? <laughs> Hamburger helper? Spaghetti with the marinara. I mean, if I got stuck in the... If you guys can tell me a hike that's worth Look, camping out. Three days. <laughs> Ready to eat pizza. Maybe I would think about it. We're in the seasoning section. The rubs and the barbecue and the marinaras. Ooh, rub some butts. Mmm. -hmm. Like some Chicken butt rub. Chicken and waffles hot honey. I have a hot honey. Hot honey? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I like hot honey. Now the one thing I used to like was the dehydrators. 
And that was like the whole reason why I would come here. Was to buy replacement trays for my dehydrator because I would break them. Mama made Milo upset. Cut some meats, meat grinders. We'll grind some meat. That's only in the bedroom. Oh. Alright, we are going down. We're gonna stop at the general store and then we're gonna try to figure something else to do. Look, Milo, polar bear. Polar bear? Yeah, no, polar bear. We have to push a button to go down. Oh my god. It didn't figure it out? We're new to elevators. You gotta push a button. My least favorite thing is timeshare people. I do not like them at Bass Pro Shop and I don't like them here. I'm always trying to sell you on a timeshare vacation. <laughs> we actually signed up for one right before COVID happened and we didn't want to stay at any of their resorts. <laughs> and so we just ended up eating whatever money we spent on the stupid timeshare. They gave us what a fifty dollar Bass Pro gift card or something. Yeah, I don't remember. Like, ooh, we used it, so I guess either. we got some of our money back, but we, got we never <laughs> used it. So, uh, my my parents and uh, Leah's dad have timeshares and stuff, and I do not want to get roped into that. <laughs> yeah, we get hotel discounts. And we have too many kids. Alright, so this is sad. They used to have roasted nuts in here and stuff and all different kinds of meats and stuff. Now it's nothing. It smells like roasted nuts. Still smells like roasted nuts? Yeah, kind of. Should I get this for the kids? Some ghost pepper popcorn? Carolina Reaper popcorn? Boop, 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 What is this thing? It's called six. High caliber. Guys, it's a big shotgun shell. No, thank you. Oh, it's got some hot sauce in it. All right, before that falls on the ground. Oh, it's body wash. What? Thick. That's body wash? Thick. You want to smell like tobacco leaf and leather? Oh, my God. No, I'm good. Pickle pretzels, chili fixins. All right, well, there's nothing in here anymore. Some taffy, some old timey candies. Right. It's still raining. It's still raining. So, Cabela's or Bass Pro. <laughs> It's the same thing. Now it's the same thing. All right, 